in this module let us study about building temples mosques and tanks now temples and mosques were beautifully constructed because they were the places of worship the most beautiful the temple is that means it shows that the more powerful the more wealthy or more devotion is there of the ruler so the more uh, the, uh, the more beautiful temple uh, showed more wealth more power and more devotion of the pattern pattern means one who is building the temple or whom we call as ba then uh, so one example is uh, just now we have studied about raja rajeshwar temple which was built by raja raja deva uh, and he acquired the name of raja raja deva from the name of the god the god's name was raja rajeshwara so he acquired his name from raja rajeshwara so that he will also appear like god because he wanted to prove his power in front of the people so he acquired the name of the uh, deity or the god and uh, he worship the god with uh, some rituals and in that rituals it appeared as if one god is honoring the other god one god means king and the other god means the original god so they wanted to appear like god now uh, all the big temples were built by kings and suppose a uh, temple is dedicated to lord shiva so that temple will be built by the main king and then there may be lesser deities that means associate deities like some devi uh, maybe or some ganesha temples which will be located near that big temple so those small deities and their temples will be built by the uh, allies of the king or the subordinates of the king then when the worship is held so all the uh, kings and his allies and the subordinates they together worship the god and this shows that all of them are together trying to bring the just rule of the god into the earth that means they are going to bring justice on the earth the good rule of the god they are going to bring on the earth so that is what they want to prove uh, and they want to prove that they are more devotional or dedicated to gods Uh, so this is all about the hindu rulers uh, they always call themselves as incarnations of god but the muslim rulers or muslim padshahs they did not call themselves as uh, incarnations of god but they call themselves as shadow of god in one of the persian literature it is written that the kings were the shadows of the god and the inscription which is written in the qutub islam mosque which was built by qutubuddin aibak and later on completed by ethnish and then it was again continued and enlarged by alauddin khilji also so uh, in that qutub islam mosque there is an inscription which mentions the name of alauddin and it says that alauddin became the king or chose god chose him to be the king because he had the qualities of moses and solomon moses and solomon uh, were two characters mentioned in bible and quran also so they are considered as the law givers that means who bring uh, just uh, justice for those who deliver law to the people so because alauddin had the quality of moses and solomon so that is why he is he was chosen by god to become the king and it is also mentioned that uh, when the god created the world the world was full of chaos confusion but then uh, a stability in the world was brought by moses and solomon because they were the law givers and uh, they only introduced order and symmetry in the world so these are some of the uh, beliefs which were uh, is, is uh, shown in the inscriptions in temples and mosques also and this shows that
how important the kings were and how they considered themselves equal to gods because they wanted to show their power and wealth.